Adam Page gave this quote to Galaxy.com. He says, I'm stubborn. I don't take advice. I listen to people say things, but very rarely do I listen hard. I was part of the movement that created the entire company, and I'm a world champion. I don't know. He wasn't world champion at the time. Uh, I don't know that I need their advice. I'll certainly listen, but there is something to be said about trial and error and doing it on our own. I take more pride in that. So he takes pride in not taking advice. (laughs) Well, excuse me a minute. Let's put Hangman Page in the, in the role of an NFL running back. The coach calls him over to the sidelines and says, I want you to do this. Oh, and he's thinking, oh, I'll, I'll listen to it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I want. So the next play, instead of taking the coach's advice, he does what he wants to do and gets dropped for a two-yard loss. You know what happens next? They yank him out of the game and cuss him out on the sidelines and tell him to sit down because this is a, this basically wrestling is a team sport. Unless we all work together for the same common good or the common end, which should benefit everybody, it doesn't work. And you got to also work for the fans. But working for the fans, just like we said, doesn't mean having a scrum at the end of the thing telling everybody that it was all a work from the beginning. They know that. They don't want to be slapped in the face with it. But if you get – let me put it like this. If – let's say Stan Hansen called the Bucks over and want to give them a little advice and they didn't want to listen – well, the next time he got them in the ring, literally he would he would wear them out with clotheslines. You know those little super kicks, slapping the legs. He'd let them. He'd let both of them kick him, and he wouldn't even he wouldn't even register it. You know what a register is? A, a cell, a reaction. Actually, it's not even a cell. A register actually is just like blinking your eyes. That's the register. And when I said he he wouldn't even register the kick, that's what he'd do. They'd kick him, he'd blink his eyes and double clothesline him. He would beat those four boys half to death, and they would be literally afraid to get back in the ring with Stan Hansen. Stan's a great guy. Of course, a lot of them are great guys till they don't like you. Abdullah is a great guy if he likes you. Undertaker is a great guy if he likes you. But if they don't like you, I mean, they don't take any, they don't take any like unnecessary precautions to protect you. I mean, they're not going to hurt you. But what they're going to do, they're not going to oversell you. They're just going to get their stuff in and then beat you on top of that. Mm-hmm. So the, 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 the little bucks, they're little guys. They weigh maybe 200 pounds, maybe. If that. If that is what I'm saying. But a guy not taking advice from somebody like, like, like Paige or somebody, that's just showing inexperience and disrespect. I don't know why nobody has told him that. But I'm sure some of those agents backstage said, hey, man, you got to listen. You got to play the game. If a guy gives you advice, listen to it, but don't go out on some damn dirt sheet and say, I don't listen to advice. I don't care who gives it to me. And if I was the booker, if I was Tony Khan and I heard that and I give him advice, so well, well, is he going to follow it or is he just going to go and go in business for himself? Is he just going to do what he wants to do, which actually pants paints a a bad picture for the entire team, for the entire locker room. And it makes now, now we're getting closer to the discontent in that dressing room. We've heard about, and everybody's trying to push it on CM Punk. I don't think Punk can be held completely responsible. He's not the most, you know, gung ho type guy. Let's go and do it as a team. He's not a team guy, but he does play by the established rules. 
And by Hangman Page, how long has Hangman Page even been in the business? Uh, I, just, I just had his Wikipedia up about 13, 14 years. Well, where's he been? Uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, he was a fairly big star there. Ring of Honor for about seven years. AEW since 2019. I never heard of him before he showed up on AEW. Never heard of him. Never even heard of him from somebody else talking about him. Never. Because I don't follow Japanese wrestling anyway because, I mean, a lot of guys can get to New Japan. Doesn't mean they're that good. Just somebody just, it's like anything else. If, if they just, I, they just like them. But he should listen. And even though he's been in Venice 13 years, see, drawing money in Japan is not like drawing money in the United States. See, because... Japan, you either do what they say or they, they won't bring you back. So he had to follow the game plan in Japan. He had to listen to their advice. He had to listen to their instructions. Otherwise, he wouldn't be going back. But for him to get to AEW and then tell somebody, nah, he's stubborn. He don't listen to advice. That's really a cocky attitude to take. So, And I don't know the guy. I just heard about him. Maybe a great guy. But I wish he hadn't said that because that's going to follow him around. Yeah, that will leave a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths, I feel.